Hello Puan Nurul Izzah. Puan Hello Nurul Izzah. Ya, yeah, yeah. Selamat datang ke The Valley Current Show. Terima kasih. Ya. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, mutakhir ya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lately, je. <laughs> uh, people have been looking at Pakatan Rakyat and a lot of uh, the kind of uh, things that have been taking place. Mm-hmm. People either jumping or people resigning. And there seems to be a lot of turmoil in the different parties and for yourself uh, coming from uh, PKR Kadilan uh, is the acronym uh, Kadilan yeah yeah uh, from uh, Kadilan uh, why do you think all of this is happening there's many factors um, but it's quite interesting to see everything happening uh, at this moment in time i like to see it as the handiwork of Apco Worldwide Solutions. <laughs> the, consul- the consultants paid um, our money and chosen by BN to actually come up with one Malaysia concept. But more seriously, I mean, it it, it is um, kind of helpful because it does assist Kaadlan in weeding out some of the more mm. um, no uh, trash that we have. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know? Yes! <laughs> you yeah. have to say it that yes. way. Okay, okay. Yes. Good, good. Okay. Yes. Continue, continue. Yeah, uh, so it, it's actually a combination of all things at work, mm, you know, mm, the, the case, my father is yeah. on trial again, yep. um, and uh, the attacks, and the words specifically used to attack our our mm. kawan, mm. Uh, the AP, which mm. is chauvinist, communist, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. authoritarian. Anti-Malay. I mean, it's, it's it sounds so yeah. choreographed. Yeah, uh, I, I, I want to ask, mm. actually, yeah, I never thought about it, but I want to ask... Uh, you know, people are saying you you pointed out an interesting uh, fact about um, people who have who were ex Amno yes. who had joined, yeah, yes. who, who had crossed over initially, and at the same time you also have a group of uh, young first time uh, people who joined for the first time, yes, yeah, and and so being yourself a first time member of parliament, uh, what role do you think young Malaysians either who are joining partisan politics mm-hmm. for the first time? What kind of a role do they have right now in 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 f- uh, a kind of giving a different sense of how politics can be played out? The future very much lies with the younger politicians, especially in Kadilan. <clears throat> you know, the understanding, the acceptance of new politics, multiracial politics that we all hold dearly. Um, it's the way for the future, and it's very important for all of us to close ranks and uh, work harder mm. uh, for the survival of the party, for the survival of our support. Uh, because um, I take it as a good opportunity, a good time for us to m- uh, make sure our messages, what we hold dear and, and what we believe in, is um, clearly mentioned to the electorates. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, tapi, think, tapi mm-hmm. that, that's a problem, kan? Macam setengah orang kata, Actually, what is Kadilan's message? What is Kadilan punya principles? What, how, how would you, how would you deflect something like that, or how would you answer something? Well, of course, like we, you know, talking about at the ground level, the working level, you have to practice multiracialism. We're bringing a different agenda, whereby any leader, be it a Malay, Indian, or Chinese, they have to transcend. Or Kadazan, or oh Kadazan, yes, yes exactly, yes, very yes. good point. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you Some get engulfed. In West yeah. Malaysian politics, you forget yeah. about East Malaysia. But it's really important and I think uh, it's a time for the party to actually clarify these messages. Mm-hmm. Um, you talk about reform. What kind of reform? Mm-hmm. Um, judicial reform? Yes, mm-hmm. how? Um, police reform? Um, you know, uh, other sorts of reforms. And so, actually, a lot of, you know, pe- people look at, you know, your, 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 your uh, colleagues. People yes. like Tony Poa, people like Nick Nesmi. Uh, people like Hanayo, kadang-kadang mm. rasa boring because because Why? you guys are so lurus compared to the kind of theatrical politics that yeah. a lot of the older yeah. people can. Dirang dirang lebih macam. <laughs> well, I do think um, in the fact that Zaid Ibrahim, that Zaid Ibrahim was previously um, supportive of ISA uh-huh. when he was in Amno, um, using it against political dissidents, and when he joined Kaadilan. He could actually join the demonstrations and go all out to support um, the abolishment of ISA. I mean, it's also very interesting to watch. He's become more lurus. <laughs> and I think that's why you should never, ever, ever take lurusness for granted. 
So okay. it might be boring. I know we might be a little schema, <laughs> but um, you can work on on fashion sense, but you cannot mm. work on uh, a real conscience. Yeah. That's you something that cannot be bought. So. Right. Now I want to draw attention to something you said earlier. Yeah, mm-hmm. this time around, uh, there is the second time that your father is being yes. charged. Yeah, as a mother, mm-hmm. as uh, his daughter, how are you? How are you dealing with all of this? How How are you feeling? Macam mana perasaan, Puan? Sometimes it's. Uh, it makes me feel like I just want to shout. Nak menjerit. Yes. Ah, dalam BM. Um, because it takes huge amount of self control, you know, to to put up with um, such malicious attacks, you know, against my father, against our family name, against macam maruah lah kan, maruah kita tercaba. But um, now it's even more it's, it's more difficult because I I believe when the attacks are leveled against him. It's an attack also to Pakatan Rakyat, the survival of, of new politics. Yeah. Even for me, as a member of parliament, you know, there's so many things. My responsibilities are even greater. Hmm. Um, Tapi, for you, for yourself, yes. as an anak, nak tengok anak ni. sulung. Ah, ah, anak sulung pula yeah. tu. I think it pains me the most because he's a lot older now. He's 62. And I, you know, we went to prison, uh, visit him all those years and I think nobody can, I mean people talk about Ma, um, Mandela in prison you know people talk about it and it seems like something yeah it's nicely to describe about political imprisonment and also these high flying terms but when you get to it when you experience even when you visit a prison it's it's a terrible place to be in it's a um, it's a terrible ordeal for the family and it's something that I would never wish on anyone, especially prisoners of conscience. And it's like, um, sometimes I feel, you know, my mother-in-law keeps asking me, are you sure <laughs> you want to go on politics with <laughs> such a tr- tremendous risk? Uh, but... Which is what a lot of, uh, you know, aunties and uncles also tell. <laughs> nieces and children. Nephews, can. Oh, yeah, uh. don't join politics. Uh. It's just why I'm telling my son and my daughter, uh. although, you know, I feel that it's worth it lah if you want to change, um, mm. you want to still reform. Uh-uh. But yeah, it is very painful, especially mm. f- to watch him. Mm. You know, because um, he's such a you know he's he's such a wonderful father. I mean, uh, talking about yeah, yeah, more yeah. micro level, can he? I mean, we have such a wonderful time as a family. We love him dearly, and you know those moments. It's like. Um, and when we're in a court, it's so surreal sometimes. And just to, again, seeing my mom and my sisters, my brother. So, this is very painful. I mean, I don't, I don't like to give them satisfaction. So, that's why I smile when I'm caught. <laughs> because I You hate. smile when you're in court. When I'm in court. I mean, yeah, of yeah. course, most times, yeah. of course, you know, see my constituents. Because I think yeah. I, I just hate to give them the satisfaction that they're getting the upper hand with us. Yeah. Talking about that, you mm. mentioned constituents, eh? Mm. Uh, ramai yes. orang tak tahu sebenarnya huh. uh, ni sebagai seorang uh, ahli parlimen, mm. ahli pertama, yes. kan? Apa perasaan Puan Nurul Izzah sebagai uh. seorang ahli, ahli parlimen, first timer lah ni? Well, when, bila euphoria tu, kegembiraan uh, bila memenangi kerusi has died down, <laughs> then you realise it's an enormous challenge, enormous mm. responsibility. Um, you really have to manage your constituency, you have to manage uh, their needs. And their complaints. And it's difficult when you are the MP, but all the different agencies are the ones that are responsible for penguatkuasaan, perkhidmatan, um, etc. Mm. Like, the crime rate is increasing. Mm. Who do you blame? Is it the MP? <laughs> no, it's the police force. <laughs> so I try to drive, drive down that message and I do my best to make sure the voices of my constituents are heard in parliament. Mm, okay. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Wanderu. Okay, thank you for the questions. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Yeah, yeah, all the best. Okay, you too.